Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm be doing a deep clean of my kitchen. It is fall and now so I thought I would try to get this going. This is supposed to be some spring cleaning but I rarely do the fan and then I rarely dust in here and I don't know I kind of just do the basics of it but right now I'm just going to dust everything that and it really wasn't that bad so you know I'm not really hating on not dusting all the time but I'm just going to be dusting and I'm also going to be cleaning all my appliances I'm going to be cleaning inside the oven and inside the microwave and just wiping everything down and then mopping sweeping all of that kind of stuff and I'm also going to be reviewing a couple really cute products for ear plants and succulents so be on the lookout for that soon. And this area of the kitchen is probably the most disgusting just because we have our shoes in there and we just kind of throw the shoes in the cubby and if they're dirty it gets just dirt clear through that whole entire thing. This is just kind of our spot where we throw everything so it gets really disgusting in this little spot right here. And then I'm going to eventually wash the mattress and like that little pad on there. So I just took that down and wiped everything. It was so dirty over here. And then I am just using the method in the garden scent. It was during springtime and I actually ended up using the whole bottle <laughs> in the end of this video. So I didn't have any more, but I'm just going to wipe all the cupboards down. I'm just going to start with all the top and then I'm going to do the counters and then wipe down all of the bottom cupboards as well. And I really love all Method products. I also use a Wyman's cooktop spray and that works really good once you let it sit around for a while. When everything is on, we light a candle. We're breathing really slow with artists. We're waiting for the dawn with empty bottles. You turn around when I wanna kiss. I try to reach you, but that's nothing new. I can't, I know, cause you turn around when I wanna kiss. November, but you turn around when I want to talk. Oh, when you need me, time has changed. Maybe I'm the one being silent when you just want to talk. And then I did move my microwave so I could clean behind it. And this really wasn't bad because I do do this pretty often. I hate to say that I'm like deep cleaning today because I do a lot of this on just a regular basis. But this microwave was just disgusting. And I don't know where you guys put your bread, but we put our bread in the microwave, which is really inconvenient. But like I refuse to get a bread box. I think I hate having stuff on the countertop. So if you guys, let me know where you guys put your bread. I know that sounds so weird, but I don't know. I just want to know where you guys put it. And then I'm just taking the method cleaner and just wiping everything down. A lot of times I do like to put a bowl of vinegar in here and then heat the microwave for like four to five minutes. But today I just did not feel like having the house stink that bad. I also got a few new fall decor items. I went to Walmart and I went to TJ Maxx and I ordered that big gallon jar off Amazon. I had like a gift card for my birthday so I didn't know really what to use on there but I thought this was so cute. I love how this turned out and I it's just adorable and I just love fall so much you guys. And then now I am just going to wipe down the top of the fridge. This was pretty nasty I won't lie but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Like, I don't even want to know what underneath the fridge looks like. I really didn't even think about cleaning under the fridge. But do you guys move your fridge around a lot? Because I don't. But when I do, it is so nasty. <laughs> and then I am just going to ruin the kids. Beautiful masterpiece. It's been sitting here forever. I did not know how much chalk was just caked all over <laughs> the refrigerator until I started cleaning. It was like, I was, I couldn't believe it. It was so awful. And 
then now I'm just going back to the other side of the kitchen and then I'm going to start wiping down the bottom parts of the cupboards. These were kind of nasty as well just because we have little kids and I have little toddlers so she touches everything whether her hands are dirty or clean it doesn't even matter. And my husband loves to spill coffee all over the cupboards and he doesn't even know. So I hope he listens to this and I hope he watches this. Pay attention to where your coffee goes. And if it doesn't go in your cup, it's probably leaking down the side of the cupboard. But anyways, that is just one of my pet peeves and obviously everybody has them. But I'm just going to use this easy off. I think it's easy off. And I'm just throwing it or spraying it all over the oven. And this works so good. I left it in there for quite a while until it almost started to like dry up a little bit. And everything wiped off so clean. Our oven's not super gross, but we did have some stuff that kind of dripped down. And I don't know. I don't want to have to like clean and like I don't have to clean it like for a super long time. So it's probably just better that I... Do this instead of have to scrub an oven. And then now I'm just going to clean the racks to the oven and then I'm also going to clean the plates and stuff to the microwave. And these really weren't as bad. I kind of like left some soap on them, let the water run for a little while and everything just kind of wiped right off. So that is amazing. So I normally do not wear gloves when I clean. I just, I don't know. I don't like the way they feel and I don't feel like I know how to clean with gloves on. But I did this time around and this is supposed to be fume free so I wasn't really super worried about it. But sometimes I just wait, I like, I hate the way my hands feel like when it touches like cleaners and stuff like that. So that's why I put these on and then I eventually took them off to wipe it down because I just could not stand the feel of gloves on my hands.
So, and now I'm checking these out. These are by AV or Avely. I'm not sure. AV is what I'm going to go with. But they are these cute little wooden pineapples. I did not know they were wooden when I said I wanted to review these, but I thought these were so stinking cute. I don't really like the yellow, but I think that I'm going to eventually spray paint them white. So they come with little magnets, so I decided to put them on the refrigerator because this is this is where I'm going to be spraying and like taking care of these little air plants. I've never had air plants, but I was really excited. So this also comes with these two little spray bottles. Presley wanted to help and show. This was like right before her nap, so she was kind of upset and kind of crying but she was really happy to help with these and then they also come with these little sticky things you can just attach to your wall so you don't have to put any holes in them I ordered these little air plants off Amazon they were like six or seven dollars but they fit perfect in these pineapples and they look so cute I think this is so adorable but like I said I'm probably gonna spray paint them white eventually just so they match the rest of my kitchen and then also because I can keep them out year-round so they don't look super springy but I just use the little spray bottle and I just love how these look they are so cute and I'm gonna leave the links in the description box below so if you do want to check these out also the same company Lanmu they sent me these little ceramic planners I used them as planners I ended up putting succulents in them I already had the holes on the wall in the kitchen here I really want to redecorate this wall and I'm gonna definitely use these but they have the little brass holders and it's a it's a really hard ceramic white planter I think these are so cute and I love the succulents in them and like like I said I'm gonna redo this wall I think eventually whenever I get the motivation to do it but I definitely love these so I'm going to leave the link for these as well so you can check these out but I definitely recommend these these are adorable and it's like a rose gold color I'm just super in love with those but now since I'm all done with all the fun stuff I'm just going to finish this off by sweeping and vacuuming or not sweeping and vacuuming <laughs> sweeping vacuuming mopping all of that in one I'm using the Bissell Crosswave and as I've mentioned before in so many of my videos this is just an incredible thing if you have tons of pets and kids pretty much pets I definitely recommend it sucks up so much hair and if they carry in dirt or we have cats so they're always in the litter box obviously that's, that's disgusting even thinking about but <laughs> it's real life so I get this done and I absolutely love this so that is all I am doing now and I am that mom that is guilty of definitely letting her kid have her phone and watching YouTube videos so I can finish cleaning. I'm, I'm serious you guys like I know that people will complain about screen time or whatnot. My kid is not on my phone a lot but if I do need to get stuff done around the house obviously I cannot vacuum and stuff like that while she is taking a nap so I have got to get it done while she's awake. Yes she gets to use my phone and watch YouTube. One step forward and another back I will never try to fool ya I'm one heartbeat away from going mad Girl, when you're looking like that Closer, closer I'ma get closer to you, yeah Got me, baby Got me hooked on you once again But all right, you guys, that is it for my video. I hope this gave you some kind of cleaning motivation. And if it doesn't give you any kind of kitchen cleaning motivation, hopefully it just gives you something. Or I hope you at least enjoyed this video. And if you want to check out the Landmoo and AV cute little air planters or just little planters, I love the rose gold ceramic ones. They are so beautiful and they would even look really nice in a kitchen or bedroom, even a bathroom. They would be pretty anywhere you put them 
And also the pineapple ones are so, so cute. And like I said, if you don't even like the color, you can definitely change it to whatever you want. But I really, really do love those. I think it is a cute little touch to my kitchen. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, I would love if you subscribe. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.